Hello everybody and welcome back to Prison Architect. I'm Stranky and this is Prison Architect. Yes, um, so last time we were working on this area and there's still no power. But I think our guys have been busy building fences. I think I'm seeing them ghosted in. So something should be built. Let me just check. Yeah, job job secured. We just don't have enough workmen. They've been building that fence. Probably fences take priority in the list, which makes sense. So, um, and now they're probably all trapped, aren't they? So let's uh, slap a couple of gates down. Uh, large. There. There. And there. Only need one way in because once they're in, they're pretty much there for their entire stay. So, um, I'm going to stop looking into these uh, luxury cells. And eventually, that one will be uh, redone to minimum once once we've built our full wing for the orange people but let's look into some orange um, luxury cell not orange luxury cells um, they're very nice so I want to build it like that no at least you can quit the hole Misclick. Go on. There we go. That's quite nice. I like. In fact, it works out quite well because um, I can do the shower at the back. And they will have a double corridor. No. That. Because this is the luxury. The, lux the posh part of the prison. This is where all the, the Mike Rosses go. And if you don't know who Mike Ross is, which sort of sounds the same, doesn't it? Um, sorry about that. I had another phone call. So, um, and apparently my um, my pause button is the same as the prison architect take a screenshot button. Anyway, um, yeah, so I was saying about Mike Ross. If you don't know who Mike Ross is, um, I would recommend that you watch Suits. It is. It's not for everyone. Um, but it is. A pretty good. It's very well written. Um, legal drama. On. On TV. Um, I was watching it on Netflix actually. I was. Um, I don't have that much of a of a free schedule to see much TV. But um, yeah, when I started watching it, it, was like, okay, next one, next one, next one. Until I eventually caught up. Um, and now I've all caught up. So yeah, um, Mike Ross is a lawyer, but he's not really a lawyer. And um, yeah, I would recommend you watch it because um, it's very good. And in fact, I'm going to continue that there. Uh, how many is this? I'll just slap them down the same same way as I did. Um, quick build, luxury. I 
have to be careful when placing them not to place them wrong. So anyway, uh, yeah, today I um, had a very busy day after I did something wrong somewhere there. Or somewhere here. That's okay. That's where it went wrong. Um, yeah, I had a very busy day, so um, the company I work for, I think I've uh, spoken a few times, I don't know if you've watched every video, um, I work for a, a sort of a printing company, um, I run the, the digital press, um, I'm a graphic designer but my main job is the um, the pre-press, you know, preparing for print. Um, if you're not familiar with the uh, the way things work in print, um, if someone gives you a business card to be printed, I make sure that when it's printed, it will print well and everything looks okay on it and everything's aligned well and um, I had all the printing marks and sort of put them up on the sheet to fit the most amounts of cards on a on a paper you don't like do one a4 with one business card in the middle you uh, we work we have digital press we work on um, a size called SRA3 and we fit like 21 business cards um, on a sheet, I'm giving an example on business cards, but then we might have wedding invitations or, or whatnot. Um, and yeah, well, we're actually moving to a new premises um, the start of April. So today we were starting to move things over. Um, going to do a new shop front and uh, expand into more um, more commercial stuff as well because right now it's just mainly um, like not a walking trade like people just come they have their wedding invites and we'll do business cards and flyers and things like that um, so we're going to have sort of an extension and then well, not an extension because we're moving office but the front office will be more like a stationary shop where people can come in and buy birthday cards and um, stickers and things like that and then we'll have another like office in where people go to have their meetings for the more personal things so yeah it's been a busy day and um I'm quite knackered and yeah it's interesting um, I think probably I don't know the age of um, of many of you um, I think it varies so um, but obviously if you're at school um, and you're looking for a career to get into uh, Printing is nice. I don't know if printing has that much of a future, to say the truth. Um, I mean, certain things like the where we are in in I mean, our main focus is the wedding invites. There's still quite a, quite a demand for it, so to speak. Um, but other other industries magazines newspapers I think I think the days are numbered really everything's going digital on that um, and then the more formal things like invitations and things like that people I mean I can see 10 years maybe um, people starting to send things by email for the wedding um, 
But if you're inviting someone to your wedding and you want a present, I think someone would still want something physical in their hands as far as an invitation goes. So, um. And that's blocked. You know what I'll do? I'll. Bulldoze. And that should unblock it. What I could also do is I think he's going for it. Yeah, he's gonna bulldoze that. One of the cats is making some noises behind me. But yeah, I mean I think that that's why I I get a lot of phone calls as well. Um, because usually while I'm recording this, the, the I I work during the mornings mainly, um, morning and afternoon. But then obviously the shop stays open in the evenings for people to come and have meetings and whatnot for certain things. And that's why I get phone calls all the time because I'm still on call and people need advice or or whatnot, so they call me and that's why I get phone calls. Um but yeah, uh I think it's a smart move to actually do something like that because printing stays unnumbered. So to actually have a shop where we're selling more things like that I don't, I mean I still see people sending Christmas cards and things like that, so I mean to expand into that sort of market is is probably a smart move so but obviously you don't want to hear about that you want to watch prison architect so anyway let's have a look at our prison that's all getting nicely sorted that's all getting sorted and do that before we answer the phone call the board has decided to experiment oh no Actually, let's, um, the board has decided to experiment with a number of cost-saving measures across our facilities, and your prison is being included. We need you to reduce the meal quantity and meal variation policies in your prison to low, so we can see what effect this has on overall budgets. Quantity and variation. So, where was that? Low, low, okay. I still do two meals a day at least. What is she doing? Knocking everything. Well, it's cost two per day. That helps us with the monies, actually. And how are we on the. We're still on three eights. Uh, we don't want to be on three eights. We want. free time. Work. So we'll add some work. I feel like adding a bit more. Let's do that. That's a bit more work. That might actually help get um where is it? Programs.
No, I didn't fit any on in that. Does it fit anything else? Yeah, it fits some more of them. No. Any more? No. Yeah, that fit another one of them. I think we can stop one of them. Another thing? Do something like that. Anyway, so they're getting working on that. There's a yard for our yellows. Let me just check. Ah, but here's the problem. This. This yellows. Okay. That is a prison. A prison. That is a prison problem. That is certainly no concrete tiles. That is a prison problem. But we can rectify that problem by doing that. So then they can bring them up and around. Should be Yeah. That should be okay. Alright, so anyway, we're at seventeen minutes, so I'm gonna call this an episode and um I know I said that next time we'll be working on these, but that's gonna be next time we'll be working on these. Because this time we worked on that and I talked about work. Typical, isn't it? Anyway, so uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave that like. Um, just give it a good tappy tap. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks and bye bye. <laughs>